Hi guys, this is Jolt. In today's video, we are going to unbox and install this Bosch dishwasher. I'm not going to uh, pronounce its name. Um, I'm going because obviously it's uh, some sort of fancy name. I'm just going to uh, leave a note on the bottom of the screen. Unfortunately, the previous dishwasher went kaput. So I need to replace it. As you see, there is a nice amount of rubbish by the end of the unboxing. Okay, let's see what it comes with. So there is a bit of rainforest as usual. And there is a, a ring and the power lead, it is around a meter and a half. And let's see what is inside. Obviously, some more rubbish. There is also a sample pack. One of these plastic covers. And just in case some more rainforest embedded in some plastic, because of why not. And this machine has not only two trays, but three. However, it's not coming with the cutlery basket. Well, the previous dishwasher uh, managed to kill the uh, power outlet as well. This one is going to be the spare part. It's the same brand, same model. As a next step, uh, obviously we are going to shut down the water supply and we remove all the pipes. When removing the pipes, uh, of course, be careful because there could be some water in some of them yet. And as a next step, of course, we just need to remove the old machine. As the old one is removed and the new machine is put in its place, um, obviously just need to put the pipes and uh, the power lead through the designated hole and connect them up. Of course, after the installation, we just ensure that all the pipes are in their place where they should be and they are uh, fastened securely.
and then we shut down the electricity. Then we replace the power outlet because the uh, old machine kind of like killed ish the um, old power outlet. So new machine, nice new power outlet just to avoid any trouble. And of course we can switch back the electricity when we finished. According to the user manual we just uh, set up the hardness of the water. Um, usually you can find it at your water supplier's website what is the hardness of the water in your area. Then we fill the machine up with the salt. Uh, they didn't provide any salt with the machine, so obviously you need to be prepared to buy some in advance. Then you can uh, fill up the softener container. On this occasion, I also put uh, one of these washing capsules in it uh, because I'm going to run an empty washing just to make sure everything is fine. As I mentioned earlier, this machine comes with three trays, not the standard two. The first two trays are the normal ones and uh, you can uh, set up these little I don't know, dividers if you need more space, you can put some of them down uh, in a flat position. And the second tray, you can uh, set it up and down a couple of centimeters. And the third tray um, is for the cutlery. It's not coming with this basket, as I said earlier. Several song-filled hours later. Okay, well, the empty um, run just finished. And now I'm going to fill it up with some dirty dishes and cutlery. Um, by the way, it's a uh, 13 sets uh, dishwasher. Many hours later, the dishwasher finished. Um, in my opinion, it cleaned everything nicely. I found only one piece of egg on one of these spatulas. Other than that, all good. 
Okay, by the time this voiceover is done, we are using the machine for a month and a half already. We are very happy with it. Um, the only thing we've done was uh, that we removed the top tray for the cutlery because we didn't like the uh, complexity of filling it uh, with the cutlery. And also we were able to lift up the middle tray a couple of centimeters to the top position. So it means on the bottom tray or in the bottom tray, we can put some larger uh, pots and such. And we are also using the uh, cutlery basket from the old dishwasher uh, because we prefer that one. Other than that, as I said, we are all happy with the machine. It takes a bit longer, like half an hour longer each wash than uh, with the old one. But really, other than that, I can only recommend the product. Very happy with it. We reached the end of the video. In case you liked it, give it a thumbs up. Don't forget to press the subscribe button and also the notification bell. So you're not going to miss any of my upcoming videos. I'd like to say a big thank you for your time and catch you on the next one. Bye bye.